Hi everybody. I want to say thank you for looking at my listing. More importantly, thank you for taking the time to watch this very short but informative video. This is the Crown Victoria P71 Police Interceptor. This is not only the most reliable car that this country has ever produced, along with the uh, Mercury Grand Marquis, which is its uh, twin counterpart, but these P71s are fast, 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 and this one is particularly fast, and you're gonna hear the engine in just a minute. Now, the first thing I'm gonna do is walk around the entire perimeter of this car, and I want you to take notice of the paint. Um, it is a gorgeous silver metallic paint. And as you can see, the body and the paint on this car are basically flawless. In addition to being the most reliable car pretty much on the road, and that includes Lexus, Honda, Acura, and the like. These things go 400,000 miles. It's no coincidence that every police, fire agency, as well as every cab company uses these as their flagship vehicle because they just run and run and run and run. They're absolutely amazing. All cars should be made like these. Now, if you look in this back seat, you're gonna see, though it's a little dark, I apologize for that. It's like nobody ever sat in it. The door panels on all four doors are absolutely impeccable. I don't know if you can see this. The light's a little dim right now, but there is a little metallic flake in there. It's real, real nice paint. And when the sun hits it, it's absolutely gorgeous. Take a look at these tires. Nice deep tread. Hope that comes out. So the tires are in good shape. And it's even got a working uh, spotlight, which is always fun. And now, just have a listen to this. And please take note, my foot is nowhere near the gas and just... Okay, now you ready to hear this thing? This thing's got a custom exhaust. It's obviously been custom tuned and it is a runner. It is fantastic. Now over here I've got the uh, stereo. And as you can see, I just turned it on with the remote. It's got a lot of features and it sounds real, real good. Okay, and in addition to all those features, uh, it's of course got the normal presets. It's got a beautiful blue hue, but you see there's a USB uh, charging output, and right here you can put a, an SD card. So you can go ahead and put um, all kinds of uh, songs on an SD card and plug it in, and you've got yourself a, a rolling uh, music library. It's really, really nice. Now I'm going to go ahead and turn that off. I do apologize for the dinging. I can only tell you that this air conditioning blows like an absolute ice box. I'm going to turn it on real quick. Just You can barely hear me over the blower. It's strong, strong, strong. These things have awesome air. And even though there's a picture of it, I'm going to go ahead and open the hood for you. Just look at that gorgeous piece of machinery. This thing is fast, fast, fast. Heavy duty suspension, heavy duty transmission, heavy duty all the way around. This car will last and last and last as long as you take care of it. Okay, now I'm gonna turn the engine off for just a second. And uh, I'm going to uh, just do something for you real quick. This is something you should do on any car you're looking at. Always look at that oil dipstick. Now you see how it's got a real pretty amber and translucent color, but the most important thing is there's no bubbles in that oil, okay? You do not want to see a bunch of bubbles 
because what that means is water's getting in the oil and that means head gasket problems and head gasket problems means expensive repair problems so you don't want that run for the hills when you see water in the oil and you also want to look at the transmission dipstick and you see how that's got a still has a reddish color to it and it's also translucent and also there's no bubbles in that either that's what transmission uh, fluid supposed to look like and in addition to uh, looking at the transmission fluid it's always a good idea to actually sniff it and make sure that it smells like transmission fluid and not like burned clutch and if you know what burned clutch smells like it's an unmistakable odor and uh, when somebody slams on their brakes real hard, have you ever smelled that smell? That's what burn clutch smells like. If you smell that coming out of the transmission dipstick, that is not an automatic transmission that's going to last very long. So, thank you for watching. Please give me a call at 702-530-2886. I'm right in the center of town at 3400 Desert Inn, which is west of the 15 freeway and just east of Valley View. You're going to love this car. Thank you.